In this video, I'm going to share with you the best zones in the game, the best adjustments to stop the PA counter go meta in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into how you defend one of the best plays from the Trips Tight End meta, and that's the PA Counter Go. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to kind of re-examine um, a few questions about zone drops in this game. And we're going to start with this 20 or with this 30 yard flat. This is one of the the ways that I've been playing lately is essentially this adjustment right here. 30 yard flats, curl flats at 10 and 10 yard hook curls. As you guys know, I run the nickel 335 wide. I think it's the best defense in the entire game. And if you want to get access to my complete defensive guide that breaks that breaks down this defense, you can get access to that in the description of this video. Now, one other thing I want to talk just briefly about when you look at this formation, um, from the nickel 55 wide, you're going to notice that the cover three buzz unfortunately has the safeties going to the wrong side. If you notice, you have the the cover the the left side uh, safety should be in the deep third, but unfortunately they flipped it and it, it doesn't really um, do what we needed to do. And so what we're going to do and what most people do is they kind of base out of this Mike Blitz three right here because this is what that looks like. As you can see, it gives you some really good zones. It also allows you to have good pressure. So we're going to come out in three three five and we're going to audible down to Mike Blitz three with those zone drops. And I want to talk to you today about this PA counter go. So the, the initial way that you would want to start with your defense would be to look something essentially like this right here. And let's just say for sake of argument that you're going to take care of like the dig route on the back side. So most people, most people that run this will put their trips to the wide side of the field. They won't, it's, it's very unlikely that they're going to run with their trips to the short side of the field. What this means is it means that they're going to um, essentially have a little bit more space on that trip side to, to work. But the other thing that it means is that you're going to be able to, you're, you're going to be able to have um, a little bit less space on the, on the right side. So one of the popular things that they can do is if they, if they, if they run this play just like this right here, um, because I've got my flats on 30 yards, whenever they roll out, you're going to notice that it's really hard to complete this against a 30 yard cloud flat, even with a rollout. But what they're going to do is they're going to do a little trick. And what their trick is, is to basically take the running back and they're going to put him on a ghost route. And what that's going to do for them is it's going to pull the cloud flats to the inside of the field. So if you watch here, the cloud flats going to pull the inside. And as you'll see, I'll be able to complete this, this crossing route to the short side of the field. The problem, uh, so, so that causes a problem for the defense. So the question is, how do you fix the problem? Well, my, my proposition to you in this video is that what you want to do is you want to go in and you want to actually flip these. So instead of having a cloud flat out there, you're going to have a curl flat out there. Now, uh, I'm going to break down why you want a curl flat specifically, um, because you need to understand the power that the curl flat zones actually have. Most people don't use them, um, but they are really, really, really good. So we're going to go to that same concept um, right here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to use these seam flats. So all we're going to do is we're going to put our linebackers on hard flats. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, put that bluff blitz out there. We're going to use the backside dig and you're going to see that what's going to happen as a result is a seam flat is a purple zone that plays seam to flat. What that means is it plays the middle of the field to the outside of the field. So it's really good for tight end streaks, but it's not very good for crossers. Let me show you what I mean. So if I run this crosser, you're going to see the ghost rat's going to hold him inside again. And I've got this nice easy route to be able to hit the um the crosser so not gonna work right not gonna work um let me show you an example of like a quarter flat now this might be a little bit wonky because it is quarters coverage but i'm gonna do my best so i just want you to see the quarter flat so 
Um, we're just gonna do, we're gonna create, oh gosh, how can I do this? Let me think here. We're just gonna create a cover three cloud look. So something like that with a three rec and then a backside flat route and we'll just spy these guys. Okay, so that's what we've got. So I want you to watch the same route so, route concept. This is with a, uh, a quarter flat zone, which is the uh, second second type of purple you can use. So this is back dropping back to 30 yards. You see he's sitting inside too. Same kind of thing, plays inside to outside, right? The difference in a, um, the difference in a curl flat, if you've ever actually ran just like a general cover three, you'll notice that a curl flat plays the curl flat concept really, really well. So what I what do I mean by that? What I mean by that, and, and I'm gonna try my best to show you this. So I'm gonna just hit square left trigger to uh, reset my zone drops. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of do some general hot routes here just to create what, I, what I'm trying to show. So what I'm trying to show you is if I put this guy right here into a curl flat, and it's just a standard curl flat, okay? Watch what it does to this concept. So this is the, the left side here, I have a curl flat. I have a curl route and I have a flat route. So I want you to watch what it does. So if you watch what it does, you're gonna see that it plays the curl route. It plays it perfectly, pretty much. It doesn't didn't stop it right there, but it, it, plays, a, it plays that route. The reason why that matters is because a curl flat concept is outside in. The curl route comes from the outside, the flat route comes from the inside. So the curl flat zone is gonna play curl to flat, outside to inside. So if we think about that in terms of Mike Blitz 3, uh, all we need to do is basically shade our coverage up. So when we shade our coverage up, you're gonna see that it creates a curl flat. And now uh, we're gonna run the same concept, same exact defense, but we've got curl flats, a very different, a, a, a different type of purple zone from what most people are doing right now. So if I run that same concept with the ghost route, I want you to really focus in on the safety on the right side. Watch what happens here. Crosser, see how he sits outside on the route? He didn't sit outside perfectly, and the reason why, and I'll, I'm gonna dive into that a little bit, is, it, is that it is better to hot route your players to the zone you want them to go to than to shade to create it. So let me show you what I mean by that. So for example, if I just go through and put a curl flat out there. So this is a hot routed curl flat, so I'm gonna hit X and hit uh, right on the d-pad so just like that you see curl flat okay now i want you to watch the same concept so again uh, ghost and double team now watch the crosser watch how watch how watch how he plays it he sits right on it and is able to collapse down he stays outside even with a ghost route on that side so this is a new way of playing defense what if your mabel coverage looked more like this than it has in the past. So this right here becomes the new way to play Mabel coverage. Now, the reason why I want you to, to, to hang on and, and play this out is let's say that someone likes to, let's just say that someone likes to do something like this concept right here, okay? Something like that. Watch this left side. That curl, that, that flat route will sit because he's going from inside out. He will sit on that hitch. That's almost a snap throw. I mean, a lot of people like to snap throw that. So that's something else that you've got going for you is you've now got other, you've got other things that you can do, you know, basically. Uh, because your deep zone is now uh, a purple zone, what it allows is it allows your flat zones to do what flat zones do. And what flat zones do is they take away the quick outside stuff, the quick outside stuff. So for example, one one idea um, is if you did something like this. So you put a hard flat to, you put a hard flat on that outside guy. This is a, a concept that I personally love from trips tied in. So you've got this coverage, right? So you're playing your linebacker is your deep blue on that side, and then on the back side, I would say it's something more like along those lines, right? Now what you've got is let's say for example they go to this concept and you want to pass commit. If they aren't early on their timing, see how he gets out there and plays that? 
That's what a flat zone does. Now, if that's a purple zone, the purple zone never get out there unless it's a curl flat. So the idea here is that curl flat zones play outside to inside first. And so if you're trying to defend the sideline, the best zone in Madden 21 for doing that is actually the curl flat zone in my personal opinion because it stays outside. It doesn't come back inside because of because of a hitch or a ghost or a flat or a slant. The curl flat will always play the outside to inside. So in my opinion, if you're looking for maybe a little bit of an adjustment to when someone's doing a lot of rolling out and throwing crossers and using ghost routes to pull zones, I would recommend the curl flat zone adjustment, put it at 30 yards. It's gonna play really, really good for you. So if you're using zone drops, very specific, if you are using zone drops, the curl flat zone might be something you wanna look into. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to become a true fan of the channel and get access to the exclusive videos there that can help you take your Madden game to a whole nother level, I want to encourage you to join that membership. You can do that for just five bucks by clicking the link down in the description. Best content in the entire community, in my opinion, because it really dives in deep and gets into the weeds and helps you understand exactly what is going on. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to become a true fan, click that link down in the description of this video.